Right, this is day three. I, uh, while I'm waiting for the uh, get the parts for putting the the oil drive uh, cog back in place with the pin and and the uh, split washer, I start putting this oil pump back together in the casing. But after taking off all the uh, the gaffer tape which you had in there, and it's pulled the paint up which is for some reason has sprayed inside everywhere so uh, with that paint being pulled out I've got no choice now but to strip all the paint off in there so that the gasket can make a proper seal otherwise it ain't going to make a proper seal in that state so I've got some nasty stuff somewhere if you can read that suspected of causing cancer do not breathe so give that a go that should sort it out <laughs> so find a, a lid, lid to put it in Don't want a lot. Just got to hold my breath now for a few minutes. Not to breathe it in, what they say. It's going to happen. brush I'm about to destroy. This is nasty. I'm not sure if that's been powder coated or wet sprayed. I think it's been powder coated. Let me just show you something else. <clears throat> when I built the, um, when I built the, uh, or restored the other XS, SS is 50 SS, I took the engine out of this shop because it come, it was the engine that originally came with a frame. But this engineer I've got off of eBay for. 450 I think it was and 50 quid delivery I haven't, I, haven't, I, I haven't done anything with it really I just put the um, just swapped a few nuts over for stainless nuts checked the tap bit the gaps checked the, um, the cam chain um, tension stuck a old kickstart on it kickstart lever clean that side panel up casing sorry just clean that side casing up Cleaned that, clean that side casing up. Uh, checked the, I checked the um, plugs, and they look like they've been running. It's, it looks like the engine's been running all right. So I checked the compression on it, and this side had a, about 120 psi, and the right hand side had about 150 psi. So there's a slight bit of difference there. Maybe it's because it ain't been run for a while and the rings are sticky. Sticky in the barrels, in the pistons. So all I'm waiting for on this engine is two inlet manifolds. Once, once I've got them, I can put the carbs back on. Put the carbs back on. Oh yeah, change the oil filter and the oil strainer on that as well. Put, put, them, put them on there. Like 
built, built a set of carbs up. I built that set of carbs up of all the bits and pieces I had. These are the carbs that I uh, cleaned in the Sonic cleaner. So they're all, they're all more as complete. So I've just got to wait for uh, wait for the inlet manifolds, and then I can uh, give this a little start up, see if it'll run, see if it's smoky, and see what the condition of the engine is. It's Mike's engine there. Just waiting for that. Waiting for the uh, bits and pieces to screw that up tight, and then once that's done, I can carry on with that. That's how far we've got at the moment with it. So I'll come back when this is when the paints looks like it's peeling up a little bit in there now. But once that's all uh, out and cleaned up, we'll come back to this and uh, carry on with it. a little bit of a clean up, taking all the paint off this face here so that the uh, gasket can seal properly and there's no lumps and bumps of paint in it. Needs a bit of clean up still, smoothing off, but uh, that's good enough. Here's <coughs> your the oil pump. Uh, there's two little arrows there that need to line up when you put this together because all these parts all these bits come apart. But when you put it all back together them two little arrows need to line up. Once that's um, once you've got that in place, there's no gasket between this and the actual um, uh, body. It's, it's, a, it's a nice, comfy, comfy fit, nice close fit. And that'll only go on there one way with these um, uh, with this one dowel. There should be two dowels in there, but there only seems to be one. Should go out into another one. We have another one. No, we haven't got another dowel. So let's let's put that in place. Like that. That's it. That's in. Should be another dowel, little tiny pin in there, really. I'm sure. I thought, um, I thought there was two in there, but maybe, maybe there ain't. Screw it up. Maybe it was lost when it was taken out. Yeah, 
there should have been should have been two of those. The other one is called called only knows. I presume they're in there to um, line that up perfectly. And it works. But... One is going to have to do. No gasket or nothing like that. Lined up. Right in. Oh, I keep forgetting the fucking names of these things. I think I need three pairs of hands now. You fucking son of a bitch. A different approach to this. I didn't want to do that in the first place. There's a wheel, there's a way. I don't want to do that in the first place. Put the cob on first. And then the key in afterwards. And then this pit on with the with the cutout facing up. Right, so there we have that. The washer goes in there. And then the nut. Let's go and get a spanner. Yeah, that's it. That's your oil pump and your taco drive. That's how clean. That's how clean it is now compared to what it was with all the paint on. <laughs> Let's put the techno drive in. And that's all there is to that. This hole here needs to line up. With this bolt which I need to take out before I put this in. Uh, you can see that now. So we take that out first. Otherwise we're gonna have problems, aren't we? Tiny, uh, seal. Okay. Actually, take it out a second. Can't get it out now. Put it in there. Let's get some pliers. Is what uh, that little tiny seal there that's all that, that stops the oil coming through. And I do want to line that up with that as best we can. And we'll do that the yeah, not back up. Oh. 
and they're all in the place. Drive, so we put together. That was a good one. So let's, let me show you. I'll clean that in there. I'll have to give it a bit of a clean up. earlier on than you think. I mean, that's just a uh, that's just I don't know half an hour on the on the uh, bench grinder at home with a fine wire brush, a bit of uh, 180 sandpaper, and some others. That's, uh, needs a bit more work on that anyway, but that's all right for now. That's all right. Keep keep us going for now. Is inside of that. So gaskets should seal nicely in there now. That's all cleaned up. Use a Dremel to get all the shit, the rest of the shit out of there. So that's the oil pump in place. We're ready to go, we're ready to rock and roll. So, until the next time. I just want to show you something rather, uh, rather crazy. So I ordered, I ordered uh, a part, right, so that I can, so I can get my, or try and get my Boyer Triumph uh, ignition, electronic ignition, uh, fitted in a XS650, but I needed a certain part to be able to do that, and they've sent it to me in this fucking massive box. So I was gonna <coughs> put the camera around, and I'll unwrap that, <laughs> and you'll be pretty, <laughs> pretty shocked at what's actually in there. Let me get that stuff. Oops. Like this is. Right. Wrist slashes. Wrist slash. Crazy. You ain't gonna believe it. Package over to fucking glued it on it. Fucking joke on bar <laughs> that is it There's some nuts Should put some nuts in there somewhere oh, there you go there's some nuts and washers massive box massive massive box just for that is that ridiculous or what My garage ends up with fucking loads of rubbish right I'll explain what I wanted that for in a sec. Electronic ignition for a Triumph. Right, be back in one sec. Put in 
camera back in its right in position. Is my garage a mess or what? No, it's funny to put this here. Whoops. Here we have the Boyer ignition, right? Let's do a little more light. Not much. <coughs> now on a XS650 Boyer ignition setup, through the through the cam, they they, they give you a bit of. Uh, This 8mm uh, bar that you can fucking hold this piece in uh, one end and bolt it tight the other end but this being off of off a of Triumph it's in it's not metric it's imperial so I've got a trial and error now to find out that's, that's too big I think oh there we go that thread is just well it's not the right thread so I've got some studying that I can use for some other job maybe on a couple of turns maybe it's a paint no so I'm going to find out what thread that is in there Four. Right, at least I've got some studding now and nuts and washers I can use that for building the XS650 engine stand. <laughs> right, what size is this? 